Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, um, yeah, I'm um, uh, obviously back playing this game, Doki Doki Trooper Trouble. So, um, I can't wait to see what will happen next, because the last time we, uh, his mother found out that they play Uno together, if you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, let's continue. I look in the mirror to add uh, finishing touches to my homecoming attire. Mom wasn't kidding when she said this Su, Su looks good. Hey, good is an underst understand Wow, I'm stuttering a lot. I'm thinking this orchid approach, my belt looks bad yeah, and I feel like a superstar. I'm ready to do what superstars do. No, they don't have funny at this party. I have to scratch that. I'll send them for a nice woman who'll show me a good time. Marco, get your suited up uh, funny down here. Sayern and her boyfriend are here. Coming, man. Without further fanfare, I head downstairs to prepare for my grand entrance. Er, uh, you look so handsome. Come here. Mom, don't embarrass me. Before I know it, Mom involves me in the tight embrace and plants kiss all over my forehead and cheeks. It's as if she's trying to form a barrier around me. Mom, fine, fine. Well, look tenderly, mom loosens her grip on me and steps back, lessening its protect protective potential. Wow, Marco, you look great. Thanks, I- oh, woo, wait, is this the guy, what I think it is? Oh wait, I already know, wait, I think he played like in part 3. Oh my god, my brain is not breathing. Uh. Thanks, Sayuri, you do- you don't look too bad yourself. So his dress is eye-catching and not in her usual messy. The Zorn... Damn, today I can't read. The Zorganized way. It's not often I get to see her look so well put together. Sayori, you look gorgeous. Next to her, a small yet formidable looking man with an awkward smile on his face gives us a sm small wave. The tension of his slicked back hair as it struggles to stay in form, along with the awkwardly tailored look of his suit, make him seem smaller than he actually is. Oh, thanks, honey. Cyrus' scarlet face matches his own as they both let out scrolly giggles. So, Sayuri, are you going to introduce me to your friend here? Oh, silly me. Marco, this is Finn. Finn, this is Marco. Hey, Finn, my guy. It's a pleasure to meet you, my dude. I heard a lot, of, a lot about you. Knowing her, you know more. You that you should do that. Knowing her, you know more than you you should. Uh, no comment. <laughs> she pokes her tongue out at me in the. F Flippant manner as she takes hold of Finn's arm. My face gives out to a weak smile, even if there's some unresolved tension. Well, I will say that you all look great. I'm looking forward to hearing about your evenings when you all come home. I had a good time. I'll get that, Sire and Finn. You two can make yourselves comfortable on the couch. What a nice mother. See? This mother, I respect her. Cause a lot of mothers can be a very pain in the what well, I I'm so used to say bad words when I when I when I wasn't recording actually, when I was taking a break for three months. <laughs> now is this now it's difficult for me to avoid the bad words I'm gonna say. It's now difficult again. It's this damn But anyway. Mom makes her way over to the front door, walking past me in the process. However, she stops and leans into me, as if trying to whisper something. Sayu, Sayu looks beautiful, doesn't she? I overhear Sayu giggling at whatever she and Finn happen to be talking about. 
Sure, yeah, I'd say so. That could have been you. Mom, that ship has sailed. It can always come back to shore. S she's a, such a nice girl, especially compared to the other one. Mom, really? Alright, alright, hun. I'll let you be for now. With a comfortable tap on the shoulder, she finally heads off. Off for the door. She, she what's a guy? What's a guy have to do to get some peace around here? You doing alright over there, Marco? Oh yeah, I'm a Marco. Yes, mom. You have more guests. Sorry, peace. You'll have to wait a little longer before I can come to you. Judging from the uh, this date in her voice, that only my dad and I are trying. Trained to here, I have a slight idea about who my new guests are. Sets of footsteps grow in volume as my mom users the newcomers from the foyer into the living room. Ah! My eyes ball open in a shock as they confused my gut into. Oh my god, how do you spell that? In Twitch. In, in Twitch? English, Marco. Not. Are you okay? Jeez, sweetie, that looked bad. You should really watch where you stand next time. Did you trip me? Heavens, no. I would never do this thing. Not nah, knock it off. Sorry about that, man. Here, let me help you up. Okay. Bob well, looks like that's okay. Tripped. Ah, ah, ah. Again? Gunned me. I look away for one second and you fell over again, didn't didn't know you had two legs. You should be there. Didn't know you had two left feet, girl. Thanks for the help, ma'am. But I think I got it from here. Leaving room is right around the corner. Greetings, everyone. Sorry about that. I hope we're all having a good evening. Natsuki, you were bringing a bit too much of your body. I, I, I'm only saying that, okay? Don't come judge me. Um, I'm just here, just a person trying to make content here, entertain people. Probably not. Probably they are cringing right now because how cringe my voice is, and they think this is SMR. Anyway, the collective energy in the room shifts upon Natsuki and Kasuya entering the room. Saria fits in her seat as she tries to hide her clear discomfort. Finn rubs Sayuri on her back in between the glances at the newly arrived odd couple. In kind, I turn my attention back to Nat and Kazuya to better grasp why the mood of the room changed. Kazuya looks the same as always, except that he's wearing an overly expensive suit instead of a high school uniform. Nat, on the other hand, looks astonishing. Astonishing. Well, her deep. Nekne takes a hold of sight, leading me down to path dark and dreary. That's what I'm talking about. She's, she's revealing too much. Look at her. Look at this. She almost revealing her melons. <laughs> I'm not sure if the dress is even legal for the dance. It's almost like she's not wearing anything at all. A complete mismatch to Cassia's modest and regal attire. Well, I'll leave you all to it. Damn, Modus's went speed. Damn, Modus's want to be like Sonic? Why you didn't tell me so? I could give you. Okay, why the hell I was about to say I could give you Sonic's power? What? What is wrong with me? Why, why I'm telling this? Anyway, Marco, sorry. I'm gonna get something from my room. Damn, she disappeared like my my dad did to me. Mom coldly walks, eh, coldly walks down the hallway back to her room. She's abs absolutely nonplussed about Nat's presence in this house. Nothing I can do about that now. After all, she's only here because Kazuya of of offered to give me and the others live to the dance. I internally sigh as I try to put on my best host face. <laughs> what the hell was that sign, Marco? Hey, hey, you guys, I see you finally made it. Of course, I needed to make sure we got here on time so we can 
all get to the dance before it starts. You're gonna love Kaz's car, Marco. It's way past cool, super fast too. Now Pons uh pon Punch to a this, this exclamation when the bright smile of the adrenaline junkie. Okay. Sorry if I'm spelling those words wrong, I'm really sorry, right? So sorry. In kind, Kazuya places a hand on her shoulder and Gigri pulls her close. Fast, huh? What can I say? I love to play the fast and lose. <laughs> not, not in the man's house. Feeling the urge to face palm, I look over at Sayuri and see her giving a very justified eye roll when Finn patting her on the knee. Alright Nat, why don't we take it down, down a notch? Relax cuz, I'm only messing around. No need to have a, a stick up your... funny. Anyway, how are you guys feeling? Ready to go? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. How about you, Finn? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good as well. Ready to have fun with my friends and you. Oh wait, that's a legendary Finn? Finn, this is Natsuki. Look at you, I'm so glad to see Sayuri lend herself a boyfriend. Babe, this is Finn. Have you seen him around school? Uh, I can't say I have, not. However, it is nice to meet you, Finn. Likewise, also, I'm not surprised that you haven't seen a lot of me. I I just transferred here this semester after all. But who cares? Don't mind her, she can be a bit abrasive. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pulling your leg. Tell us about this all about you. That's you can cause you head over to Finn as he regulars them about his life during the past two months. Her movements are odd and unnatural, as if their only purpose was to intense, intense any unlockers just as myself. She loves when her entire body. Oh god. Dag yet. Marco, why did you say that? Why did you say that? Why? Why? I just, just end this video right now. She, she loves me the entire body, conventionally bending over and giving me an unadulterated view of her big bubble. Funny, stretching out the fabric of her succession of a dress. A view that I would love to appreciate if it wasn't for the fear of catching the heart of both Kazuya and Sayuri. I resist the Temptation to look as Nat takes the spotlight in the room with her bombaramanta of questions for Finn. <laughs> what the hell is that for, Marco? Hey, dear kids, are you are you all ready to have a good night on the, on the town? Everyone stops in their tracks, and we turn around to locate the source of this voice. Coming around the corner, I see Mom emerge from her room with someone behind her. That's someone being dead. Not gonna lie, the dead's looking good. Man, my man. He's gonna get a lot of girls, I'm just saying. Look, look at this guy. Dad, what are you doing home so early? I launch up out of my seat to give my dad a solid bear hug. I took time off tonight to get home early. I wanted to see my son looking sharp in his fancy new suit. I'm guessing this is the something you went to get, mom? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, hey, 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 father. I'm just gonna say you you lucky man having, that, having this mother right here. She's looking good, you know? Please don't look at me angry. <laughs> Hey, Unc, look time, long time no see. Hello there, Sayuri. You look very lovely this evening. See, Sayuri, everyone's saying the same thing. Finn, I don't think I've met you before. Uh, Finn pulls up from the couch, standing to shake my father's hand. Finn, sir, 
my name is Finn. Sawyer's boyfriend. Oh, Sawyer's boyfriend, huh? That shoots me against that's worth a dozen lectures. Well, good to meet you. I trust you're t taking good care of her. Yes, sir. I wouldn't dream of l lying a finger on her, and I'll make sure no one else does the same. Good to hear. After all, Sawyer's like a daughter to us. What about you two over there? Look over to Kazuya Nat, who's now tensely standing behind Kazuya like a riot shield. <laughs> well, sir, my name is Kazuya. I go to school with Sayori, Finn, and Marco. The lady hiding behind me is Natsuki. Oh, you're Natsuki? I've heard about you. Boat. About you. I heard about you. I've heard about you before. Nice to finally have a face to go along with this name. Uh -huh. Well, it's nice to meet you too, sir. Why is Natsuki afraid of my main character's dad? Is it a lore? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing a lot of stuff. Did it? Have I paid attention? I hope I have a bit pay attention of the mod, because yes, I I still remember all of it. So I don't I don't think that I still don't know why she's hiding from Marco's dad. Say, so, son, can I have a word with you and your mom for a bit? Oh, sure, dad. Excuse us for a second, everyone. My parents then quietly make their way to the kitchen with me and Tao. So what's up, dad? Your mom told me about this Natsuki girl and what happened the other day. Oh yeah? Yeah, she did, I have to admit. Son, it was a pretty knucklehead thing to do. Also, by the looks of that guy she's dating, he definitely messed you up if he ever found out. This is a pretty dangerous game you're playing. Not you mentioned the not you mention incredibly gross and you must possible I raised you better than that. We raised you better than that. <laughs> Be that as as it may, we know you're an adult now and are allowed to make your own decisions, no matter how dumb they they may be. Just be smart about things, okay? And don't be afraid to come to us for help. Okay then, I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Of course my boy. One more thing, by the way. That steps up to me and leans in a while, plusing a hand on my shoulder. Why does everyone keep doing that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I heard you had bang bang with her in your room the other day. That's true. Yeah, it's true. Did you remember to use the the funnies I got you? Yep, sure did. Was was that a uh, funny? Fat son, <laughs> very. Doing my name proud, he he sticks up a fist for me to pump, which I righteously do. Thankfully, his body is positioned to shield this display of male balding from mom. All right, son, your mother and uh, I won't keep you any longer. Go out and have fun with your friends. We'll see you later. Good night, sweetie. We love you. Stay away from the silver bread. After hugging them both goodbye, I make my way back to the living room. Finn and Sayu are right where I left them. Meanwhile, Kazuya and Nat have taken seats on the opposite couch while holding hands, leaving me without anyone to hold mine. Have you everything alright, Marco? Yeah, yeah, everything is alright. This is wanted to tell me bye and to have fun. Must be nice to have just a caring parents. Must be. Nat and Kazuya's hands curiously squeeze each other briefly. I'll be honest, I would trade them for anything. I clap my hands together and getting all the couples to lay eyes on the single fry who will sadly have to take charge. I'm the only one who isn't distracted after all. So I think it's time we get up out of here and and do the dance. What do you guys think? I've been ready to go since we got here, bro. For sure. Then how about we head out to the... Alright. 
reaching a consensus, everyone gets up from their respective seats and we all head out of the house. Wow, so that's your ride? Our ride. Jeez. Wow, Kazia, that's a lot of fancier than anything I've ever got into. I have a question. How are we all going to fit in this thing? Well, not takes the passenger seat, so there is that. In the back can see two people uncomfortably, but can can see three people if they squeeze together. Sayer and the fan squeeze me in the window. Overwhelming stares. Good thing I'm skating. My man, he's literally like me to alive. I'm also skating. Everyone starts stepping into the car. However, Kazuya places his hand on my shoulder, keeping me in the place. Man, I stopped f feeling that shoulder pulsate this morning. Look, so I'm sorry. His hand lifts from my shoulder and it goes into one of his sh shallow dress pants pockets. I, um, it was out of line me treating you. It was out of line. He lands over at the hard shadows of the night, covering his eye in darkness. Oh damn, okay, that, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> hey man, don't worry about it. I get where, where you're coming from. It may come from a place that makes sense, but it doesn't... You know, justify it. Treating violence, it's unacceptable. Don't worry about it. Unacceptable. What brought this on, if you don't mind me asking? When I, when I went to pick Nat up on my way here, I had a brief encounter with her father. Huh. Yeah, meeting the parents, huh? I've never felt more tense in my life. Scary guy? Scary enough. You made me reconsider how I treated you. Well, um, it's fine. The overbearing... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say... So he's afraid because... The main character's dead. Looks so... Like, looks so strong and scary. But... Yeah, it looks like he's a giga you, you saw him. He, he respect. The overbearing guilt of the situation is impossible to keep under wraps. But if I learn everything in these two weeks, it's that I can pull off the impossible. I'll still have my suspicions, of course. He stands straight, picking out Atsuki, shouting with Finn and Sawyer in the car. You tell me if you were doing something, right, Marco? Well, actually, no, I'm not stupid. I know you won't. In any case, it's her responsibility to tell me. So, I'd rather hear it from her. Won't you? I stared at him dumbfoundedly unable to really get a read on his mood. I guess? <laughs> ha! I guess he says, let's have the night of our lives, shall we? Yeah, yeah of course, yes, sure, yeah, yeah, sir, yes, yes, sir. With that, you both claim into, <laughs> sorry, I have hiccups, I guess, in the Kazuya's car and the power for the dance. Oh damn, okay, what is going on? Oh, I think that's uh, where, they, where they're going to party. Oh, I think that's supposed to be us, the main character. The, damn, we don't have eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Natsuki, you don't need to... You know... Show your bazungas garungas the humongous. Okay. Yeah. They're having fun. Bro. Not gonna lie, this animation looks pretty good. 
whoever made this, this is peaked. You did a good job. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> hey yo, Nanjuke, you doing that dance? No way. My... Okay, that's actually pretty good. Wow, that's actually really well made there. Damn, okay. I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> what? This a the 80s style of anime? Nah, you didn't just do that. That looks so good. What? Nah, nah. Amazing, this is like an amazing job you guys did there. Wow. Oh, you're, you're, you're hugging the main character, make sure that Kazuya is not watching you. You do, alright? This. I'm so sorry. And yeah, that's why he left here. Oh, is he sister okay? Well, he left, so it must be a little serious. Oh, so it's about his sister, okay. Damn, I hope uh, his sister is doing okay. Right, right. I'll be honest though, Kazuya and I haven't been doing so hot lately. The memories of walks and adventures pass whispers through the air, finding a shadow within our mind. I wonder why. Marco, I don't like where you're going with this. Do you think he can sense the presence of the another man, like a leftover stench? Because he's been on my trail for a while. Her heart headed then burns the memories away. They they took up too much space after all. Whatever. Some memories, however, find themselves stuck in the crevices of her corrupted treasure trove. I don't want to lose him. The crown of my heart, like autumn leaves, fills my soul. He thought I wouldn't want to lose him either. You don't have to say that, true, great detective. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm not a beggar, I'm a chooser. She starts hugging herself, trying to remove her overly exposed skin. Feeling pity on her soul, I take off my blaze and give it to her to wear. Jack is kind of light, doesn't it warm me up much? I threw a questioning look her way, which she immediately catches. But thanks anyway, very gentlemanly. <laughs> You're welcome. My mom raised me right, you know. The same mom that banished me from your house, right? Yeah, same mom. <laughs> she shakes her head and lets out a sigh that lasts far too long, immediately chewing up all the scenery. Hey, I mean, you have to understand where she's coming from. I do understand where she's coming from. And I don't blame her. You, you don't? No, we did things. Things that are not super kosher. And I did those things with her son. Yikes. Yikes indeed. I guess your house is a no-go, huh? Yeah, no more shenanigans sh at my place. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. That sounds so racist, I swear, when I pronounce that. Wow. Sad. I guess we have to use my place. Huh, yeah, if I have a death push. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Let me giggle and she slightly bumps into me, trying to get the attention she already has. So, how was the dance? You were there. But how was the dance for you? You were there. Don't be a smart funny it's not a good look on you 
Everything is a good look on me. I don't know what you're talking about. She swatched my arm, reminding me who built the platform I'm standing on. Fine, fine. The dance was fun. It was kind of sad I had no one to be all romantic with, but I dealt with it. What about you? I'm not gonna lie, the dance was pretty great. Yeah? Bro, I was like... She stares out in the moon being the being lit by its miraculous glow, its cool waves wash over her, almost relaxing her burning disposition. Every dance I went to before was... They were sad. I'd be lying if I said I joined them. It was like I would spend a month trying to convince my dad, no matter how hard that process was, that I'd get there and I'd have the worst time of my life. Have you ever been best friends with a bunch ball, Marco? N no. Well, me and P Punchy have a, l a long history of spending this long together. He's a very good dancer, knew how to dance his way around my throat. Was that an innuendo? Totally nice. Tonight, though, it was great, almost perfect. I'm glad you feel that way. Don't be sad that you had no one to be all romantic with. I've been there. My eyes, my eyebrows rise for a moment. I acknowledge what she said, but not really resisting it. And if I'd, it was up to me, I would have totally been all romantic with you. Wow, you're so generous, bestowing me in the charity of the thought of your love. Marco, come on, stop being a smart crap. The cool light of the moon finds its way onto me, putting me at ease from her bender. It's a lot of talk, not talk appreciated, but talk nonetheless. Nat's fist cleansed for a moment, floating out in the air. Her fist weakens, however, as she instead opts to hug my arm and cling close to me. You're right, I'm sorry. Don't apologize, I'm sticking around for a reason, right? What's the reason? I don't know the specific one. Come on, tell me, please, I want to know. Uh, well, I knew you like me and I know I like you. It's a simple, but it's comforting. She talks to me a lot and goes out of her way to do it, so... She has to like me to some extent, right? Hold on, be right back. She has to, to like me to some extent, right? I'd like you to be a big extent. I just, it's so hard to show you sometimes. It's why I try texting and calling you all the time. I want you to know what... I, I want you to know that I like you. What? What? Sorry, I'm just used to the whole I don't like you or anything. The dummy routine you easily put on. Seriously. Her grip around my arm becomes so tight that I'm convinced she's trying to tear it away. What do you call me having funny when you and kissing you and letting you touch me? Do you think that was me being a tsundere or something? I, I like you. Do you get the messes? I get the messes. I like it too. She so looks up at me, her eyes sh shimmering and glowing. Like me, all love me. The once cold waves begin to freeze me in the place as my mind runs on the million thoughts per minute. Now she has never been so verbally direct with me before, but I don't know. Her accents still make her intentions unclear, but maybe I can be direct to and resolve this. Wait, wait. Is that even the right thing to do right now? She's still... But I can't miss my chance. I like you, I love you, or something. I cringed at myself, ashamed of at how little I was about, about to muster. Her head flicks away, focusing on what lies ahead. I like you, love you, or something too. The world around me fills out, as if I can see everything in front of me, behind me, next to me. Everything. Her face warmly grows. She stands out like... She always does. Even when she hid in the closet, took it away in the, in the back. We had Tom. She points to a large house, across the street, telling me that's, that it's hers. 
Well, this was fun, not? Why is the fun gotta stop, Senpai? Cause my house of limits. Well, it's not like I live in the cardboard box. My head slowly turns until the realization finally clicks and I snap back in a second. What about your dad? Well, improvis. Is your dad even the kind of person we can improvise around? You act like you know him better than me. Now come on, stop being a cat. <laughs> She grabs me by the hand and tries to pull me towards the house, but I stay completely still. Senpai, come on. Let me let me make the night perfect. Only if you stop calling me Senpai. Deal. I put my body in her hands as she drags me towards her house. The little crackle for the door shakes me to the bone. Every muscle I have is cleansed as tightly as possible, hoping against hope to maintain control in this unpre unpredictable situation. Darkness is all that I can see, the only light coming from the faint. Flickering glows form a room that's right ahead. There are very audible murmurs slithering through the home, also coming from the same room. She turns to me and tells me to keep quiet, a light body much more fit, fitting for the upcoming silk situation. Tiptoeing through the maids of carelessly strewn about dress shoes, she reads the only room that's active in the house. She steps, she steps in and surprisingly hear, I hear her foot stumps, stomp down loudly on the carpet floor. Ready? Really, Dad? I mean, I thought she said ready. Oh my god, my mind is so dirty. I do to through the corridor to check on there without drawing much attention to myself, somehow making it to the room's doorway. The sound from the TV become far more clear from this distance. The press the brash the persistent droning of static dead air. Oh my god, what is wrong with me when I speak? I walk into the room, my curiosity getting the best of me. Curiosity, Marco, curiosity. Getting the best of me. Oh wait, oh god, they're going to do the funny. Now she flings her high heels across the space as I finally set eyes on what's going on. I met with the few that's entirely new to me. A relative young man with an odd hook of hair that I can, can't exactly make out in the dark and straight away on the crummy couch. A beer bottle with the label faded away, loosely hanging on his head. I see a lone case while open the floor. Must have been for the tape that finished long ago. V H S? Who the hell still was V H S tapes? I'm shocked it has, it has worn out of by now, considering how he always gets stuck in the past. His head seems to be wavy in nonsensual patterns, almost like the very tightened neck tee around his tainted collar is choking him. Incomprehensible slurs begin to gather together, his lost eyes finding his daughter when she moves closer to him. Tsuki, uh, baby. Hey, Papa. I, st I stand alert, alert, ready to move, move at a second's notice. She stands over, limp like a dead body, standing over her father's own. Oh, look at you! You look just like your mama. A sight that escapes her is the only side of the life that she shows. You said that before I left. Mm. The attempts that speed itself into dissipant slurs once again. Alright. You help me take this them to bed? Do what now? Relax, dude. He doesn't even know you're here. Cause yeah. His dad attempts to chew a punch as nib as his body in my direction. It'd be kinda funny if it wasn't so depressing to watch. You lure your friend. <laughs> Just shut up, dad. 
Not your father. Damn. He's drunk. Stray hiccups put puts a stop to his attempted monologue. He leaps back on the couch, very moving. Come on, Papa, let's get you up to your room. Uh, don't, don't you want to sleep? Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if voice is soft, very louder than a whisper. See if things he's dropping arm over her shoulder and sm small pieces of vomit lands on her bleed dead Oh, that's actually disgusting. Why? She stares at me while I stand frozen, scared to even make a move. What? Are you just gonna stand there? Help me out. Are you sure? No, Miss 15 kilos here can't carry this fully grown man on her own. I fly his other arm over my my own shoulder and thankfully I'm spared from any vomit particularly landing on me. We jerk him down the room and, st and start clamping the stairs with his very con conscious body. I got lost in thought as I wonder how the hell I ended up here. If I keep this up, I'll probably ask that, that question a hundred times over. I snap back to reality, trying to ignore the gravity of the situation. I turn on my head, my head, hoping to tell some joke to Natsuki, hoping to lighten the mood. Feel, feel boys my blood as I'm inst I'm instead m mad with the widened eyes of a man who barely has any grip on his surroundings. You look different. Y you're f f fainter and darker. Don't worry about it, Dad. Ooh, the dad is... Oh god. Yeah, I think the dad is noticing. That's, that's, that's only I'm gonna say. Once we reach his room, she kicks the door open and screw from the doors. Angus falls to the door, to the floor. Ouch. Yeah. English. I follow Natsuki's lead and gently lay the pretty dead crops that is her father on the bed. She takes the scattered covering and places them on her dead tuck him in. I love you, Narunki. Good night, Papa. She yawns it is her head, making her way out of the room, not giving any of this much thought. All the while, I'm still barely processing what I just witnessed. He is laying there, dead asleep, and I'm casually st standing over him. This is the man that be her that caused us so much distress. Hey, I'm taking a shower, okay? Yeah, I'll leave. Who said you're leaving? Don't you want to come in the shower with me? Uh oh. Uh, I mean, uh, sh oh, 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 god. The, pro the proportion falls over my head. I don't think I'll get any cleaner in there. You, lo you lose, wait in my room, okay, stud? Mm-hmm. Damn, you gotta go in her though. Come on, what are you doing this? I walk out of the room and close the door as I gently as possible. I hear that Suki shut the bathroom door from across the hall. Okay, I've been recording this for 45 minutes, guys. Um, well... Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, man, it was actually pretty interesting to see they're going to the party. And uh, yeah, well, sorry I've been like very, um, you know, sorry I've been like very distracted by just reading this. I mean, I, it w I was supposed to read this, so yeah. Um, well, I'm just gonna say the story is actually pretty interesting so far, actually. Um, I actually got kind of surprised that <laughs> the Kazuya and Natsuki is just scared of when Minkato is dead. It's actually kind of funny. And uh, yeah. And the dance that Natsuki did on the party. Perfect. French kiss. <laughs> this perfection. I mean, French kiss. I mean, chef kiss. <laughs> anyway. um, Well, yeah. So, uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.